Hello. So my first video on slabbing. Um, I'm not a slab person. I tried out both recently, CBCS and CGC. Um, and I had my CBCS came in earlier. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Some things are going to be a little cut up. And then I had three books that I wanted to turn in and my local comic shop allows for uh, submitting to CGC and I tried them out to see how they'll do and so this is going to be my first uh, slab unboxing video um, first one's the CBCS is uh, coming up here it's uh, something that was done real quick because there there's no grades on them they were all art uh, from CBCS so uh, just a real quick little thing here so my first slabs in CBCS they were the books that I turned in at Fan Expo Chicago. So I'm going to open them up. There's no grades. Uh, they are original art, so I'm just going to check them out. I did have a little bit of uh, separation anxiety. I was kind of afraid that these were lost because first time sending in stuff for grading, you kind of don't know what's going to happen to them. Uh, and I didn't really know that, but they are just kind of lost in the void until you finally get an update that says that they're ready for something. So here we go. Okay, first up, uh, I turned in this Corey Hamshire, uh, Hamshire um, cover that I got at one con, and then I ended up bringing it with me to Fan Expo, knowing that I was going to get something. So I went ahead and turned it in in person instead of like mailing it out. And uh, yeah, it looks nice because this was a witness, got signature uh, uh, verified. So verified. They. Originally had the name spelled wrong. I had to email them to uh, add a missing letter in there because I was afraid that one, the verification would fail because of uh, the misspelling, and then two, because of the label, I was afraid they'd have a misspelling on their label. But looks all good. Um, so yep, art-wise, I love that picture. And then the David Mac uh, that I got while there. Um, so this is something that was done on the spot. Uh, usually he says that he kind of takes a list and then he'll do them like throughout the night or something like that. And then people will come by and pick it up after. But uh, I was only there for the one day. So uh, this is what he did for me on the spot. And uh, witnessed signature, David Mack with sketch. Awesome. So that is my experience with the first two books that I turned in. And here's some more. And now on to the CGCs, which are graded. Um, hopefully the grades hold up to what I wanted. This is what I turned in. So Marvel Spotlight 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman. Um, I have a video where I got this at an auction. I want to say I, I priced it at $100 that I bought it for. The whole auction was $150, so um, my goal was $100, but it went up, and... It had other books with it, so I'm saying that this I probably bought for around 100. And I'm not good at grading, at least I don't know if I'm good or not, but uh, I'm guessing it's a grade of maybe 7. It could be 6.5, 7.5. I'm hoping it's a 7. It was pressed by a buddy of mine, so we'll see how that goes. And then this uh, Marvel Team Up um, 141, it's, uh, set, it's tied for second of the Black Suit Spider-Man. I actually was planning on using a different book for my uh, submissions, but I found out that the back of that book was like ruined. It wasn't as good as I thought. So I actually just pulled this out of my collection thinking, what else could I do? This was not pressed. I got it at a local comic shop auction um, for about $18, I believe. And yeah, not pressed, not anything. It's a newsstand. I see one spine tick on it. Other than that, I thought maybe it's good, so I'm guessing maybe it's a 9.0, maybe 8.5. Um, so hopefully that grade kind of is, is in that ballpark. I have no idea. But I felt really bad, or I didn't feel good submitting something that was not pressed or looked at by like a buddy of mine that does pressing. But let's see. And then the big book that I have of this set is going to be the... Uh, Secret Wars number eight, uh, Origin of Black Suit Spider Man. 
Uh, I got this one a, a couple years ago, I think 2019. I was just happened to be at this comic shop that has a really cool owner, and he had like a set of them, or like maybe three to four of them. And I just happened to be there. He said, "Hey, uh, you want one of these? Pick it out." So I paid 35 bucks for it because he was offering me 35, and uh, I got to pick out the one that I thought was the best condition. Uh, when I w took this to my buddy to press, he said he didn't think it needed a pressing. It was really good. I always thought it was really good. There's no spine ticks or at, at all, pretty much. The corners are all good. The only thing it does have is it does have a slight miswrap, as you can kind of see on the side there. The white border does come up uh, around the front, but from what I heard, that that doesn't hurt grading. So I went ahead and put this in. My guy said it didn't need pressing, so let's see what happens. I'm guessing maybe it's an. I don't really know, but. I know that the general rule that I kind of go with now is that off the shelf is supposed to be like 9.4, uh, maybe, but if I want to be a little bit more conservative on it, I guess maybe a 9.2. If it goes into the eights, uh, I would be very surprised, but I'm hoping for a 9.4 or up, uh, 9.2, I can probably see, but if it drops below nines, I'd, I'd be pretty disappointed. And so before I go through these, I have not seen the grades. Uh, my, my comic shop that I submitted them to, he, uh, did not tell me the grades. I never saw them. So you're going to see my reaction to it for the first time. I also want to mention my last video. I mentioned that I wanted 500 subs to get to the community badge. Uh, to my surprise, I have a community badge. It, I thought the, the rule was that you hit 500 subs and you get it. Before that, it was like 1,000. But I guess they changed something because now all of a sudden I have a, uh, a community badge and I had no idea. So um, don't worry about the 500 subs thing, I guess. Well, I mean, still sub and like and all that stuff because uh, it, it still motivates me to keep doing these. But really, I'm just doing it for fun. So you know, no pressure, basically. So let's see what I got. So I'm just going to pick one out. Um, I'm going to try to cover the grade as best I can. And there we go. So we got Black Suit uh, 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 Team Up 144, uh, 141. Uh, let's see. And uh, I'll, I'll kind of look away first and see what it is after. But I think I wanted this hopefully in like in the nines. It's not pressed or anything. So let's see. Oh, 8.0. <laughs> I wonder if I should be one of those people that does the whole cracking open and gets it pressed and all that stuff, or kind of just see how it holds up on an 8.0 if I try to maybe swap it out and sell this one to try to get something else. I'm, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, but I don't really, really uh, need a lot of Spider-Man because there's a lot of Spider-Man, and everything I would really want is from Silver Age, and that's going to be a lot of money. So, I'm not really, really collecting Spider-Man all that much. So, 8.0. Um, a little lower than I wanted. But, I'm not that disappointed in that one. I can figure that this would be that. Oh, Secret Wars 8. This would be my big one of uh, this mission. So, it is a... Mm hmm... 9.2, ugh, I was hoping 9.4, but 9.2, it's in the 9s, it did not go below the 9s, so I'm happy about that, and, uh, yeah, not too bad for 35 bucks, right, because I think this still, uh, in slab would be over 100 bucks, I think still in the 200s, right, like, I think a 9.4 is supposed to be 250, 280, and, uh, this should get it at least at 200 or close to 200, so, not bad for 35 bucks plus the slab grading. Uh, the, the slab, plus the slabbing cost, that is. And so, the last one, first, Spider-Woman. Hopefully, I'm thinking something's going to happen with her in, like, some kind of thing. This book might blow up. This did have not great condition, and I spent a lot of money on it. So, it is a... 7.0. I called 7.0, right? Yeah, I did. And I thought 7.0, give or take. 
Uh, so for it to hit 7.0, that's good. This was slightly pressed. There is, it's a little weird to me because 7.0, I see a lot of markings on it, like uh, folds and stuff that um, are visible. So 7.0, so it kind of tells me what my other collection is going to be. Even though I don't really have too many books that I think reach that price point. But um, yeah, 7.0 for first appearance of Spider-Woman. I say that I paid 100, so 100 plus 40 something, so let's just call it 150. Uh, hopefully this gets up there. Someone told me there's really no point in slabbing unless you want to sell, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to slab these uh, at a point where I might sell the, the Secret Wars 8. I might sell since um, it's always on the trending list. And uh, just to talk about CGC, CBCS versus CGC for a little bit, I was in favor of CBCS because of their cases and also kind of the idea of what they were doing and then uh, the art side was something that I would take more advantage of than the grading. But in the current time of me doing this, um, it's looking like CBCS is having turnaround times of one year for grading. I still have two books, uh, Wolverine number one and and uh, First Jubilee. Those two books were processed two months after I turned them in, and a third book that is a, an original art, it's not even included in the order yet. And I, I separated the, the submission, so I'm a little afraid that it's not going to get included. And my credit card information was not included on that. It was just written on their, um, it was written on their other invoice or check other invoice, something like that. So I'm a little afraid it's not going to be included, but hopefully it will one day. One year is quite a long time. And uh, for CGC with my comic shop, it took three weeks total. I turned those in three weeks ago. Three weeks, and then my my art ones that I did get from CBCS, they were supposed to be one month, but it turned into two months. So CBCS has to work on their turnarounds. I know people are going to say whatever about you just have to wait, but I can say that the thing that I did not anticipate was the separation anxiety from books that I really was afraid would be gone um i, I feel like that there's no really real sh reassurance there's supposed to be insurance on what happens if they m mess up your books or if they lose your books i don't know my experience from insurance they'll find a way to like not pay claims so i don't know how well that system works all i do know is it was pretty scary not having books for quite a while and then thankfully the CBCS ones showed up. I am very surprised that the CGCs at like a regular tier showed up in three weeks. That's very fast. And uh, I think I'm going to be going a lot with CGC. Uh, I'm probably just going to use CBCS for a lot of witnessed uh, art and witnessed signatures, maybe. Because uh, now I kind of regret not doing the Wolverine number one signed with cgc which i could have done i think i don't have a membership to them that's why i went with my local um comic shop so yeah uh okay first experience my books kind of hit around their marks that i thought they were as a as a grading newbie um hope you enjoyed the video thumbs up like subscribe there's stuff popping up somewhere um, thank you very much, have a good day, and happy hunting. Goodbye.